Hi everybody, I'm Chris and welcome to Board on the Floor. Today we're going to do a quick what's in the box with Oath. I actually picked it up last week and I haven't had a chance to play it yet because I've been waiting to take a look at it on camera. And that's what we're going to do today. So let's do it quick because I'm sure a lot of you are very curious as to what's inside this box. Oath is a game by Cole World, art by Kyle Farron, put out by Leader Games, the same company that put out Root and Vast. Oath was a Kickstarter game that recently got fulfilled. I managed to get my hands on a copy because someone was selling it used on Facebook. So let's take a look at what's inside. Here we have our Law of Oath and of course our playbook. Oath is kind of an area control, tableau building, and as much as it isn't a legacy game, there's elements in place that kind of recreate a legacy feel. Each time you finish the game, it changes the decks that you play with for the next time. Oath is a game about history. It's about what gets forgotten, who gets left behind, and how power moves from one part of society to another. Chronicle Summary. Vow and Oath offer citizenship cleanup map. Add six cards from archive, remove six cards to dispossessed, clean up relics, return world to box, rebuild deck. Oh, and here, this is the rule for solo play. This is the Clockwork Prince's Mind. It looks pretty complex, but all we do is we put a token on here, and depending on what happens, the token moves in certain directions and certain actions get taken. So each time you play as the Clockwork Prince, it could be a completely different outcome. And here's the instructions for the Clockwork Prince. Oath card reference. So these are just player aids. Here we have our first sheet of tokens. We have the Imperial Reliquary. We have some coins. Oath Keeper of Supremacy. I think these are secret tokens. Punch board sheet two of two. Here we have our player boards. We have the Chancellor and Clockwork Prince on the back. First Exile. Throughout the game, if you are in exile, there are opportunities when you could actually become a citizen. Oath is a game that's going to last a maximum of eight rounds. The last three rounds, there's an opportunity for the Chancellor to actually win by rolling a die. In every round, there's going to be three phases. The Wake phase, the Act phase, and the Rest phase. And this over here is the actual play board. It's a mat. Very nice. I will open it up and roll it out at the end, okay? Now let's take a look at some components. Here are our Book of Secrets. Let's take one out and take a closer look. In the Kickstarter version, you get the deluxified components. These are the metal coins. They are quite hefty. Let's take one out and take a closer look at it. Very nice. And some Ziploc bags. This is the world box. So at the end of the game, you actually store all of the cards in here so that when you begin your next game, this will be where you start from. Ah, the Oath Chronicle book. So this was a Kickstarter exclusive. Where you record your victories. Very nice. And here we have our site cards. We got some more cards over here. So during the act phase, you could search, muster, trade, recover, campaign, or travel. If you search, you're going to draw three cards, discard two, and play one. If you muster, you're going to gain war bands from a card at your site. Trade to gain favor or secrets from a card at your site. Recover to take a relic from your site. And campaign to attack sites, relics, banners, and pawns. And here we have a big bag of meeples, wooden meeples. 
So each color represents the different exile and the different factions you could play within the game. Each game takes about 45 minutes to a couple hours, depending on the player's experience and what happens. Just some markers. Purple, that's the Chancellor's. Some more markers here. And finally, some dice and a card tray. I'm going to get rid of the box and just rearrange the table to lay out the actual play mat. This map is, well, it's not huge, but it's very long. It just fits perfectly into the camera above. Not like this, I just work with a piece of felt on my table. So I'm really impressed with the quality of this. And like most games coming out from Leader Publishing, and like most games published by Leader, the illustrations are just amazing. Lots of beautiful line art, lots of bright colors. And so we have our, the Cradle, our Provinces, and the Hinterland. You can see discard piles here. This is going to be how we count our rounds. Here we have our Relic deck, our World deck, the visions that are drawn, the arrow of section for token piles. I'm very curious about the solo play with the Clockwork Prince. I've heard mixed reviews about it. And so right now I'm gonna probably set it up and try and go through one round on my own to try and understand the gameplay and the rules and exactly how the Clockwork Prince is going to work. According to the rule book, they actually suggest if you're going to play for the first time, you play with two to three people. I, of course, cannot do that, so I'm going to be playing with one to one people. I thought Scythe was going to be the most complex game I own, but according to Board Game Geek, the rules and the complexity of Oath rank higher. Not too sure what I've gotten myself into. I've spoken to a few different people and over the next month or so, maybe I might get together with a group to try and play this to get the full experience. I've only gone through a little bit of the rule book to understand the complexity of Oath and it hasn't really sunk in just yet. So I think I have to play a few rounds to truly understand it. So I'm gonna break open the cards. Let's also take a look at some of the site cards. Right, here's some instructions on how to set up the board for your first game. Seem to be a few different cards in here to indicate what you're supposed to do next. So I don't want to spend too much time looking at them and get any type of spoilers. Here we have kind of a grand overview of what was in the box with the player mat, all of the components, different cards, tokens that I got to punch out. And of course the rule books and the player mats, the dice, the Chronicle of Oath book, the world box. I'm not sure if Oath is going to be making its way to retail anytime soon, but there are going to be some components that are exclusive to the Kickstarter edition, such as this book and some of the deluxified tokens. And there you have it, a what's in the box of Leader Games' most recent successful Kickstarter campaign, Oath, Chronicles of Empire and Exile. Once I get a better understanding of how everything works, I will be putting together a gameplay video, so be sure to check back and look for that in the next little while. But until then, I'm just going to say thanks for hanging out and take care, and I'll see you next time.